It's Easter Sunday, 2018. And what I want to say today is, not once did Jesus ever preach that he came to die and to pay for our sins. That's not what he preached at the beginning of his ministry. And when Jesus did tell them he was going to die, they didn't understand what he was talking about. So he did not preach that he came to die or pay or whatever until the end of his ministry. And Peter said, no, Lord, you're not going to. And Jesus said to him, get behind me, Satan. So that's not what Jesus preached. John the Baptist sent people to Jesus and said, Jesus, are you the one to come or should we look for another? And Jesus said to John, the dead are raised, the blind can see, the deaf can hear, and the good news is preached to the poor. Now what was that good news? Because he sent the apostles two by two to preach that same good news about the kingdom of God of heaven on earth. On earth. That's what he was preaching. What's good news? When he told John, and the good news is preached to the poor, what could be good news for poor people? They're, gonna, they're not going to be poor anymore. That's what good news was. What I'm trying to get at is what Jesus preached was, God on earth, among us, to love each other as he loved us, and to announce the year of the Jubilee, because every Jew today knows that when the Messiah comes, he's going to announce heaven on earth. You know, this is what Jesus was preaching. So teaching that, that's not good news. Who cares about, oh, he paid and died? That's not good news. So how can you tell me that when he sent them two by two, that they were preaching, oh, Jesus, the Lord has come here to die and pay for our sins. They didn't preach that. That's not what the gospel is. I'm sorry, Christianity. You're antichrist. But you got to come to the truth now. This is what I'm preaching. I'm at war with you, Christianity. This is the battle of Armageddon between Moses' mountain and Jesus' mountain. Sinai versus Zion. I'm with Zion. So this heretical Christianity today is being judged. It's coming to an end. It's for his false teachings. This is why they picked this man Trump. They voted for him, an uh, unethical person, and they still support him. You know, I, I, I understand you voted for him because you want to change, but you're still supporting this man. You are not from God. You don't know what his will is. You do not represent Jesus Christ. You're an anti-Christ. So, if you want to come to the truth, I'm preaching it at greatestonecommand.com. And once again, the good news is, God among us, love each other as Jesus loved us, and to make it heaven on earth 2,000 years ago, okay? We should have heaven on earth right now. You see, the big blue wave is coming, okay? And, and some green too, you know, independents and Democrats, because these red coats, this red uh, Republicans, the GOP, and their support to the beast with seven heads, or seven heads <laughs> and ten horns, is coming to its destruction. Remember, go to greatestonecommand.com for the truth.